Welcome back to One Minute Monday. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Now, as the colder mornings draw in, a stove becomes even more important, not just for multiple more brews, it becomes more important for a bit of heat as well. So we're going to look at some of the square goodness from the guys over at Ridge Monkey. So everyone knows Ridge Monkey by now, right? They do loads of things, terminal tackle, bait boats, luggage, cookware, the list is absolutely endless. One of the things that they're renowned for is their cooking utensils, the pans, kettles, stoves and things like that. And one video we have not done a One Minute Monday on yet are their stoves. So we have here, with some other bits as well, we have a Quad Connect Pro Mini and a Quad Connect Pro as well. These two right here in front of me. So the features of the two stoves are basically exactly the same, apart from one is smaller, and one is bigger. Now I've used the Quad Pro Mini for, ooh, since they came out, whenever that was now, um, and it's been really, really good actually. Um, really enjoyed using it, haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. Always turns on, um, boils water really quickly, does everything that you want to out of the stove, and it's really rugged as well. So big thumbs up from me for the range of stoves, really impressed by them. Um, obviously, if you want the smaller one, if you're, a, if you're a solo angler or you want the smaller pack down size, that's perfect. The bigger one will obviously hold the bigger pans, slightly bigger pack down size if you don't mind that. Um, but if you're the guy that likes to cook loads of grub on the bank, have pans and pots and loads of stuff going on, then that one's probably the one for you. Now I've got them here to show you as their individual single stoves, but you can buy them as a dual burner option. So you can buy them as two burner heads that connect together and then connect to one can of gas. So you can have your kettle and pan on the go at the same time, for instance. But an interesting thing to note, and I think I'm right in saying this, the old um, Ridge Monkey stoves, you could buy the individual one, and then if you wanted to add the second one to it later, you could buy a second stove and connect them together. Now with the newer ones, if you want the option to have two stoves, you have to buy the kit. You can't buy one stove on its own and then buy another one and connect them together. They have to be bought as the pair of stoves in the box. So just be aware of that before you make your purchase. Now we'll talk about a few of the features that you get on both of the stoves. I'll just remove the square kettle out of the way. We'll get onto these bits in a little while. But as you can see here, you've got quite a large guard around the whole exterior of the actual stove itself, which is square. Obviously it's Ridge Monkey, it fits the kettles and pans and things like that. You also get this handy little removable arm here. So you can place that onto your stove like so. And then when you rest your pan on it, the handle will rest on here to save it tipping off. It's a really stable design, doesn't move at all, and each of the four legs is also adjustable, so if you're on unlevel terrain, you can just pop the little clip and pull the leg out and you can level it out wherever you're fishing and wherever you're set up, which is a really nice little feature. Onto the hardware, you get a stainless steel braided hose with a piezo igniter halfway down, which for me has worked every time on mine and has never let me down. I've had old, older stoves before with these on and they stop working after a while and you have to go back to the standard lighter job. But so far, touch wood, this one hasn't let me down on mine yet. And then at the end of the hose, you have your gas regulator here with a nice etch Ridge Monkey logo on it that regulates the actual flow of gas into your stove. The stove itself does have its own regulator on the side of it as well, so you can increase the flame, um, but you also get the main one to turn on the gas when you attach this to your gas bottle. The whole thing is obviously made of stainless steel as well, so it's really sturdy, really rugged. It's going to last you a lifetime, really, really well built. And as I said before, it is super stable. With this square outer rim, gives you a little bit of wind protection from the sides when you've got your kettle or your pan on there. Uh, you can now get the Ridge Monkey windshield, which can go around it as well, their newly released windshield, so make sure you check that out as well. Um, but yeah, it's a really simple design, really, really well thought out, and very, very stable and very sturdy. One small difference when you look at the mini version of the stove, just here, just move this one out of the way. Uh, it's a smaller footprint on the mini, obviously, so getting your pans and things to bounce on top is a little harder, but they thought about that. And all around the outside, they have these four little arms that retract back into the stove, just like that. And then you can pop them back out again when you finish transporting it and it's been packed away and things. You can fold them back out and then your kettle will fit nicely onto those four arms and it'll be super stable. 
Briefly touching on the kettle, it's a kettle right but it's square, no real difference, it'll still boil water for you. But one little nice feature if you have the Ridge Monkey stoves, the lip of the kettle has a little ridge around the outside of it, which when placed on the Ridge Monkey stove, sits in really nice and snugly and just fits on really nice so it'll help prevent it sliding off and, and things like that. Altogether, the Ridge Monkey Pro stoves are a really, really well thought out. Altogether, the Ridge Monkey stoves are really well thought out, really well put together, and they do the job exceptionally well. Now, they aren't the cheapest stoves on the market by any stretch, but I think the build quality does justify the price of them. The small Pro Mini comes in at just under £65, and the Pro, the full-size one, comes in at just under £76. So they're not cheap, but they are very, very good quality. Obviously, if you have the dual burner set up, they're going to set you back a bit more. I think they're around about £100, £110, somewhere around there, for the two burners. But again, with that, you get the two burners going into one gas bottle, so it's more efficient cooking if you're cooking with multiple pans or a kettle and a pan at the same time. Obviously, by now, I don't think we need to talk about the pans very much, but while we've got one here, I may as well show it off to you. This is their small quad connect pan. It comes in two halves that you can separate out to cook two different things at once, or you can stick them back together in one easy take. There we go and you can cook something in like that. The handles are magnetic. The handles also come off and fit inside it along with the utensils that you get with it for a small pack down size. Really handy, I've got one of these. I think a lot of anglers have got one of these by now. So if you haven't seen one yet, this is one of the stoves. Make sure you have a look at these as well. Fantastic little product. And obviously you've already seen the square kettle. Fantastic little kettle. They do a bigger one of these as well. So if you're one of those not so selfish anglers on the bank and you make brews for everyone, get the bigger one. If you like me and you're selfish and you don't want to make everyone a brew, get the smaller one. Well, that's it for this One Minute Monday. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you were looking for a stove, make sure you check these out. Obviously the links for the website will be down below and they're in the store for you to see in person as well. That's it for this one. Thank you all for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.